Hello guys and welcome to Biz Pixel channel. And uh I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on what's been happening with the game I'm developing right now for the P for the P for PC currently. Um This is from the previous episode how I um was developing a I believe NPC character and I had like a little enemy character I was working on um as well as telling you guys like different techniques and um how to use different tools and graphic scale um currently i have changed my whole design of my little plateaus that i recently planned on making the character jump onto instead of that i went the uh, normal route and i just went with regular tiles instead because I feel like it was more, I think it, would, it just feels more, you know, I would say the norm to me, in a way. And uh, it prevent me from causing any issues with the game engine I'm using currently. So, um, so basically, I took the same color scheme and made a 64 by 64 tile uh, for my game which is this is basically the ground and I've also made another version of it which is basically just your standard um um ground tile which is I um plan on using for like, adding for visual effect so basically not having all these green tiles such as this I'm currently showing you all over the place instead I have um uh, another tile that would incorporate into it because it wouldn't make sense to put these on top of each other and on top of each other and on top of each other that wouldn't make sense unless you were like creating a mounting or something <laughs> um so uh so this is what i've been working on so taking the col same color scheme as my um a as my uh plateaus that i was working on recent uh, before um i've also worked on a power up for my character um as you can see here this is it basically this is his bunker position where he basically concentrates all the energy to surround him and it basically is it could be used i, I should say as a offensive and defensive um uh technique it's gonna be a static by the way let me just pop this back up again. sorry let me pop this back up again this is this character is not going to move in this stance so it doesn't give you that how would i say that overpower feel to it <laughs> instead of it, it's a static position so once you you're basically um grounded you can't move on anything but i plan on making it the bunker position to be on a set timer so what what that means is that I plan on having a cooldown limit and a time limit on how much you can use within that. I mean, you know how much I could uh, use it for, how much time I could use it for in that time frame. So, um, as you know, we created the NPC, we created the little fireball, we created the the, the shoot animation. Um, so. What's going to happen is I'm going to show you guys um, uh, Bits' um, uh, character. I'll open my shoot animation. Oh, well, I'm going to show you the the, uh, the Blaze um, animation. His uh, bunkered down position. So this is what I have done. I have basically moved the head down using the rectangular um, tool and I have basically tweaked the size a little bit and I made uh, a duplicate of frame one and I moved the head up and moved the arm down and I moved the little um, stitches to his uh, clothing up so it will basically have a uh, a, a lively feel to my character and I basically have done this multiple times 
with um different frames but um i've also um made the eyes blink as well just to give you that uh lively feel to that character um all right what should we do what should we do so right now we have as usually the bits bits items which is we have the floating key and we have the coin which is pretty uh self-explanatory what it does in terms and <laughs> in, in terms of like if you play any mario games or um uh any platformer game coins will be coins and um i have no idea what i plan on doing with it maybe i should add achievements or something to it but uh we'll figure that out i'll figure that out later on <laughs> and uh and i almost forgot about the spirit point it also has a spirit point which is what you're supposed to collect in the game as well it's kind of like your uh checkpoint in a way um i have no really set idea right now for it but i know i can use it for uh for multiple things actually so it's nice to have that there just in case if i decided to you know mess with it and uh use it in a unique way so this is just a view of my my bits i mean i shouldn't say bits my mushroom native enemy that's what i call it and um so animation right there i'm probably gonna make this um uh, I, I think i've talked to you guys about making this a, a static character so basically this character won't move but it will be an enemy um i don't know what else i should add to it because it's pretty it's a simple um enemy and it's nothing complex or or um complicating in terms of its artwork because it's not like it's an enemy that's basically how would i say dumb <laughs> the dumbed down enemy um So, this is my sprite sheet, as I showed you guys before, and I just added these, uh, the bunker down position for um, uh, bits. All right, and now we got that over with, and I showed you guys my small little update. Um, I want to show you now the game engine that I'm currently using for um, my game bits. Um, so we're going to hop in to a game engine called Game Maker. Originally, I, I plan on making this in Unity, but Unity's uh, update kind of messed me up a little bit. Since now it's not Unity 4 anymore, it's Unity 5. And so, um, I'm going to, so I'm just going to jump into Game Maker real quick and show you guys, um, what I've been doing. So, um. These are all my sprites currently. My my idle sprite, my walking sprite, my jumping sprite, my bunker down sprite, and my my uh my tile sprite. Okay, sprites are basically artwork. I, I can't uh, really go deep down. I mean, it's it's basically artwork. <laughs> sprites are everywhere. Um, especially in different types of games, if you play any indie games in general, you will see a lot of sprite artwork. Um, so, uh, I'm going to jump into my bits idol and I'm going to show you what's been work, what's been, um, worked on. So this is my bits idol and this is my four frames. Um, uh, as you know, this is like sped up a little bit and I can just turn that down. I show you guys how smooth it looks and um i'm going to show you guys how wow that is freaking fast that guy's like <laughs> but um i'm just going to show you guys the animations the jumping the jumping is pretty just it's just one frame 
and um, I'm going to show you my book of down position. It looks nice. I, it, you literally just glow. <laughs> and it looks really nice with the um, whole color scheme I have for my uh, tutorial. So basically, um, uh, for my room, um, which is basically like your, your setup, uh, in my, uh, I named this tutorial because that's basically how I'm going to start the game using the tutorial. <laughs> and, um, this is my whole setup for this room. It's 480 by 320 using 64 by 64, uh, tiled, f um, tiles and, um, 64 by 64 character. But if you dumb it down, it's, it's kind of less than that. It's kind of like, what is it? 63, 20 something. Um, Okay, so this is basically it. Um, I will show you guys how it runs. All right, as you can see here, a character is very responsive. It jumps when it needs to jump, and I could put my character in the pu the bunker down position, making it glow, and I could still move around. So basically, it's it's a good start. Um, in terms of the coding, I probably would uh, explain that in a different um, episode. So um, yeah, so this is what I have right now. Now I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what I'm gonna do next. Okay, I have all the basic movement so far: jumping, um. Um, attack defense slash defense uh, um, move and uh, right and left arrow key movements um, I'm gonna eventually um, put in my uh, NPC character which is which will be able to talk to you uh, it's it in um, in terms of In terms of like how my uh, how I plan on making my NPC interact with my character is that um, I plan on doing a simple um, uh, making a simple interaction key where you go to the character and you hit E or space or even becomes automatic in terms of it responding to you using text. Um, Right now, I'm currently trying to figure that out, how I'm going to do it. Um, I'm probably going to make a, a few more. Um, I'm going to probably make a, a simple um, interface. Um, how would I say? A simple interface graphic where the text will prompt up in or um, use what, um, ga what GameMaker has as a... Uh, UI or so. So um this is all I wanted to show you guys and um if you guys enjoyed today's video please like share subscribe it really helps out it tells me basically if I'm doing good or not and uh it really just helps out greatly <laughs> in general to get these videos out to more ind individuals and make it more, you know, make it more interesting. So, um, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, peace out, baby. Hello, guys. Welcome to Biz Pixels YouTube channel. I'm here with my brother Travis. Hey. And today, he's he came. He, he's company for today. With a little NPC characters.